And so you think about how brilliant that is. The Egyptians are trying to puzzle out who should lead, who should be Pharaoh, and what do you have to be if you're going to be Pharaoh in order for things to work. You have to be awake to malevolence and chaos, and you have to embody your tradition. And that puts you at the highest pinnacle of the dominant structure. It's, and that's the same as, it's the same thing, it's the same thing as the battle between the gods across centuries or eons and the emergence of the highest possible moral virtue as a consequence of that competition. It's the eye on the top of the pyramid, right? It's, you know, in the Washington Monument, there's a cap on the Washington Monument. The top of the Washington Monument is a pyramid. At the top of the pyramid is a cap. It's made out of aluminum. And the reason it's made out of aluminum is because when they made the Washington Monument, it was the most valuable metal known. And so what does it mean? It means there's a pyramid, and there's something at the top of it. But the thing that's at the top of the pyramid isn't the same as the rest of the pyramid. That's the thing. The pyramid exists. There's a dominance hierarchy. Something climbs up to the top, but it's not just at the top of one pyramid. It's at the top of all of them. The thing that rises to the top of any given pyramid is the same thing that can dominate all pyramids. It isn't good enough to be the best at a dominance hierarchy. What you want to be is the best at the set of all possible dominance hierarchies. Right. And that's the thing that's gold at the top of the pyramid. And that's the I. That's what the Egyptians figured out. And what does that mean? It means the thing that puts you at the top is attention. Pay attention. Keep your eyes open. It's not the same as thinking. It's not the same thing. It's like watching. And the thing about human beings is, we can see. We can see better than any other creature except birds of prey. And so our capacity to see is, in fact, what we use in the world. Our brains are actually organized around vision, unlike most animals. Their brains are organized around smell, not us. We can see. We stand upright so we can see a long distance. And in our ability to see is what saves us and what saves our communities. And that's what these stories are trying to portray. And you might say, well, why didn't people just say so? And the answer to that is because they didn't know. It took a long time to figure it out. Forever. It's taken forever to figure it out. It's... it's Part of what I hoped when I wrote this book, and, and part of the reason that I'm teaching it, is because it seems to me that it would be useful for everyone to actually understand this. Instead of just having it told as a story. It's like, that's great, man. Yes, you need the story. But why not also just understand it? So... Well, so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to understand this. 